This video is dedicated to our dear friend Ken Spear, who passed away on our last mission trip and was laid to rest on our clinic campus. Mamben Kroshu is a small town in the northeast corner of Haiti. In 2002, I was invited by Paul and Joan McLean to bring people to visit and work at the hospital in Mamben Kroshu. So in 2003, I took Barb Walwick and Don Simmons on a ride of their lives through the beautiful country of Haiti. That's when Don met Maudlin Mezidou. The Branchton United Methodist Church supported Maudlin for the next nine years. And in 2012, Don and I went to Port-au-Prince to Maudlin's graduation. In 2013, that was our first mission trip to take medicine and medical supplies to the rented clinic. Our first work project was digging an eight foot deep hole to build an outhouse for the clinic. By 2016, we dedicated a granary slash warehouse slash office building and promptly went across the street where men were clearing property to lay the ceremonial first cement block of the new clinic. We started digging the footer for the 40 by 100 clinic that very next day. As the years went by, walls went up one cement block at a time, the same way they are made, one cement block at a time, with cement mixed on the ground and placed in the one block form and left in the sun to dry. It took four years to build the clinic, and during that period of time, it was used, of course, to care for patients. One major project was pouring the cement roof. It took a bamboo forest to support all the rebar and the eventual eight inches of concrete, all hand mixed on the ground and poured in one day. In March of 2020, we dedicated the clinic. We now have paid staff to give care to the local people. We see all kinds of problems, from high blood pressure, to burns, we have an occasional birth. There's an umbilical hernia problem there, and children come to us, and eventually they get them repaired. Other situations, like this one, need money raised for major surgery somewhere else. We buy rice and beans, oil, spaghetti, and matches to help feed the poorest of the poor. Meals on Hoof takes food to the people who can't come in to get it on their own. To one of the poorest of the poor, we were able to provide a wheelchair to a woman who is homebound and has a special place in our hearts with a special story of her own. Vacation Bible School in August is a big program. We share the love of Jesus and a meal with over 500 kids this year, all in one day. In cooperation with the local community, we shared in funding a cassava mill that will enhance their economy. We purchase goats and provide them to families to give them an opportunity to financially support themselves. Another opportunity for you watching this video to be involved is through child sponsorship. $45 a month aids in the tuition, uniforms, books, and family stipend for a child. We thank God for how far he has brought this small idea 20 years ago of putting a young Haitian through medical school 
turning it into a beautiful life-changing ministry. Through your generosity this evening, we will have funds to erect the second floor of the clinic. From the bottom of our hearts, Dr. Modlin and I would truly like to say thank you for the lives that have been changed and will continue to be changed over the next 20 years through your love and support of this incredible mission. Thank you for being a part of the Hearts for Haiti family.